everyone this is Danish from jobskillshare.org today is a real world scenario of our video that we already created uh, I'm going to put that link right below in the description where that is going to be the part one of this video so if you're confused make sure you watch that video we took a backup using VM uh, free endpoint software we took a backup of a machine today I'm going to show you guys how to restore so remember we created the media if you watch the video we created a recovery media this machine is the machine that I need to do a restore when I did the backup it was backed up into the USB so I have the USB I have the recovery USB so what I'm gonna do is make sure everything is plugged in and that's my monitor right there and turn on and I'm gonna hit F12 that's where we, where it will start as soon as I hit F12 you guys can see preparing to go to the boot menu now you need to find on your machine if you're using HP or different type of machines you need to find what key will take you to the boot system to what device it can boot from so as you guys can see it's gonna come back there you go and I'm gonna hit the USB oh there's an issue going on with this monitor wow <laughs> even though I took a bad monitor right here because it says blinking I thought maybe it will be fixed it might not do it but anyways I mean I can just click on the USB, I can deal with that. Windows is loading files. So this is what you will see when you boot from the USB. The first thing you want to do is go to tools, load drivers, make sure you uncheck this and then click OK. And now you go back to right here. Monitor is still acting up. All right, I had to change the monitor because it got it really got annoying. So I'm doing the same steps again just to see show you guys again. I hit F2 and now I'm going to basically go ahead and pick USB right there and start my machine from this USB. So once everything is loaded here, I'm going to plug in my USB that have the backup. All right, there you go. You are running this from your USB. Go to tools. You can you can have other options like reset password. You have other things right here, but for this uh, video, I'm just gonna do go to load drivers and make sure you uncheck this and click OK. So then everything will be um, everything will be restored from the image itself. Everything is already backed up in that USB. So at this point, what you want to do is to plug in the USB that have your image inside there you go okay so now you're gonna go to right here the first option and it will start looking for backups but you can just go to browse go to computer and you see it's already picked up the volume so you're basically going to go to browse open the USB the drive and then you're gonna uh, basically go inside wherever your backup is stored mine is right here Optiplex 9090 and I'm just gonna double click on that and that's it it says Windows 10 Pro and everything is good I'm gonna click next click next click OK and here's a trick a lot of people will get stuck in here so make sure you click on manual if you wanna get the exact same thing then and you have the same exact PC and what you need to do is to click next here and then you will get this message so if you click next it won't work because you need to go to customize disk mapping and right click right here this is the key right here right click click apply backup layout and now see it changed so once you click OK everything will be checked in here and now you click next yes and restore no problems so that's how it will work it's going to go ahead and restore the machine you're going to have the same exact copy how you basically backed up your machine uh, so i'm using the exactly same machines right here it could be another 50 machines exactly the same thing i'm going to do the same process on it and then basically uh, get the windows 10 rolling on it and that's how you do the restore once it's done 
I know when I restart this machine, it's going to have Windows 10. 